So I want you to look at these, see how wide they are. This is a full quarter horse tree right here. Um, it's made for a horse with a very, very wide wither and a very flat back. And if you put this on a narrow horse, um, you've probably all seen white spots on a wither, okay? Most people think it's because their tree is too narrow. It's not always the case. Sometimes you'll put a saddle that's too wide on a narrow horse. And what happens is it falls down in the front and the only part that hits your horse is right here, the top of the bar, and you'll get a white spot. Because all the pressure is right there on your horse. And the tree, the bar, will just be sticking out in the air. So if, you, if you're getting white spots, you need to really take a look at your saddle. <clears throat> now, white you spots, you're meaning sores? Can you explain white, white hair. spots? White hair. If your so that would be over a long length of time. Yes. Correct? And what happens is you, it gets a, you get a pressure spot <clears throat> that cuts off the blood circulation. And the hair turns white. It's kind of interesting how that works. Um, I had a saddle that I thought was absolutely the cat's meow. And we went on vacation and we rode four days straight for four hours a day. And what the, the tree fit great, but what we got was swellings on the side of my horse where the, I don't think we have anything here like that, but on the, on the saddle skirt, the latigo went through the skirt. Some of you probably have saddles that the latigo ones through the skirt and it, it doesn't have a ring like this. It goes through the skirt. Well, after four days riding that poor little horse with that, there was a bump, a big old swelling right there where that latigo had gone through that skirt three times and it made a bump. So that was a pressure spot. I was so disappointed. But that's what happens. If you ride your horse for an hour a week, you'll probably never see anything wrong. And our horses are so good, most of them are so good, they never complain. We just don't know.